Hey folks, quick heads up. This video is only a part of a comprehensive course on Vueschool.io. Dive deeper and master advanced techniques by checking out the full course linked in the description below. Happy coding! Hello, and welcome to the course Enhanced Routing with Unplugin View Router. During this course, I'm going to teach you how to make routing a more pleasant experience for your Vue.js applications. But first, what is Unplugin View Router? Well, Unplugin View Router is a V plugin that allows you to use file based routing within your Vue.js apps. This means routes are automatically generated for you based on the files that exist within a certain directory and the nesting order of those files. Unplugin View Router also provides some really great TypeScript support allowing you to have autocomplete options for your various routes, as well as autocomplete options for your route params, and a whole lot more. Do note, at the time of this recording, this package is still marked as experimental. However, it is created by a Vue core team member, thus I expect it will not remain experimental for too long. So, if you're ready to save time creating routes for your app, let's get started. In order to complete this course, you do need a basic understanding of Vue.js, specifically working with Vue in the Composition API. If that's not you, head on over to our Vue.js 3 Fundamentals with the Composition API course. It will get you started from ground zero. You'll also need a good understanding of creating components in Vue.js with the Composition API. I've left a link to both of these courses in the description below. For this course, I expect that you already know the use cases for routing in a Vue project. If you don't, then check out our course Vue Router for for everyone. This course does use the Options API, but it gives you a good idea of what routing is good for and gives you a more realistic kind of scenario for creating routes in a Vue application. This course focuses on the Composition API and just the basic syntaxes of working with Unplugin Vue Router. This course is for anyone who is already familiar with Vue.js routing and just wants to make it a better, more intuitive experience. Finally, if you are familiar with TypeScript, you'll probably get just a little bit more out of this course, as the TypeScript support for the plugin will make more sense to you. However, if you don't know TypeScript, don't worry about it. We'll walk you through all the TypeScript pieces that you need to know in order to complete the course. And if you like what you see, I do encourage you to check out our TypeScript with Vue.js 3 course as it's going to take you even deeper into what all TypeScript has to offer, even beyond just routing. If you need to brush up on any of these topics before you begin, then definitely check out the links in the description below. I have gone ahead and set up a brand new VGS project with npm init view at three. Notice that I have chosen to include view router out of the box, as well as TypeScript. Now, my next step is to actually install the unplugin view router dependency. So I'll copy this line here from the GitHub repository, and then I'll paste it over into my IDE, into my terminal. Notice that you do have several different options for how you want to install unplugin view router based on the build tool that you want to use. Vite is the most popular one, so I'll use this setup right here. We'll just import view router from the package. Notice that we are getting it from the Vite folder within the package. And then we need to call the plugin inside of the plugins array. So back in my project in vite.config.ts, we'll import the dependency and then we will call it here within the plugins. Almost done, but not quite yet. The next step is to register a few different things with TypeScript in order to get our autocomplete and error detection working properly. Notice that we have a typed router.dts file, which will now live at the root of our directory. It should be included in the includes array in our tsconfig.json. I will copy that. Open up tsconfig.json and paste it into the includes array. 
notice that this file is auto-generated for us at the root of our project. If it was not auto-generated for you, make sure you have the development server up and running. You never have to modify this file yourself, but it is recommended that you commit this file to your GitHub repository. As you're adding new routes and new pages to your application, the Veep plugin is going to automatically update this and keep track of all of your different uh, routes and paths in TypeScript plan so that it can do those auto-completions for you. The next thing we need to do is also set the module resolution here to bundler and add in some more generic types from Unplugin View Router. I'll copy that and then paste that in my TS config. Great. With those things set, we've got the foundation laid for working with Unplugin View Router. Let's take a look at our application in the browser, though, and see what the bootstrapping gave us out of the box. Here we have a home page with a list of different resources on the right hand side. And we have an about page that just says this is an about page. This isn't actually using the Unplugin View Router yet, though. Notice over in my file structure here, we have a router directory under source. It says index.ts here. And in this file, we have a routes array defined here that manually maps paths, route paths like slash, to view components, like a home view component. And the same thing here for slash about and an about view component. This is what we want to get rid of with Unplugin View Router. We want all of these routes and their paths to be automatically generated for us based on what lives in our file structure. So we can delete all those routes. Then instead of importing our create router and create web history functions from View Router, we need to import them from View Router Auto. Next, we should rename the views directory to the pages directory. This is just a convention that comes with Unplugin View Router. And then finally, instead of naming our files about view and home view, we need to name them based on the path that we want them to have. So a route that should be available at the root route of the application, or a page that should be available at the root route of the application, should live directly inside of the pages directory and have the name index.view. If we want a component to display at the slash about route, then we would name it about.view and have it in the root pages directory. I'll save that and then I'll also remove this import of home view as that's no longer needed here. Back over in the browser now, give the page a refresh and it looks like the pages part is broken. Let's restart the dev server. I dare say you'll have to do that as well. Okay, great. Now the pages are working exactly as they were before. At the root route, we have the home page, what is now named index.view inside of the file system, and we have the about page at slash about. The rest of working with View Router looks basically exactly the same. If I open up app.view, you'll notice that we're still using router links in order to navigate between the pages. And you'll notice that we're still using router view in order to display the page. So nothing really changes about that syntax. However, if I try to autocomplete one of the routes here in router link, you'll notice that my route options aren't available, like in the screenshot in the very first lesson. Well, the one last thing you need to do is whenever you import something from View Router, now instead of importing it directly from View Router, you want to import it from View Router slash auto. With that in place, immediately down here, I can press Control Spacebar and have those two routes auto-completable for me within my autocomplete dropdown. And of course, I want the home link to direct to the root route. That's all there is to setting up Unplugin View Router in your Vue.js applications.
You already saw the basics of file-based routing in the last video. Let's take a look at a couple other things you can do with it though. Here inside of the pages directory, I could create an about folder. And now instead of naming my about page about.view, I could move it into the about folder and then rename it index.view. Notice this works exactly the same as before. So whenever you have a folder with an index.view file inside of it, that component, the index.view component, will be available at the path that matches the folder name. And we could nest these infinitely. So let's say I wanted to have an uh, about slash me path. I could come in here and do a new folder called me, and then another file index.view. And here we'll just provide a template saying this is an about me page, why not? And then when I visit slash, uh, up slash about slash me, indeed we get our me page. You could get the exact same thing by renaming index.view to me.view, and then moving it directly into the About folder, which means you could delete the empty me folder. And yeah, that works exactly the same. 